Hello and welcome back to the course on blockchain. And today we've got the plan of attack for module two. Module two is going to be massive. So the plan of attack will really help us understand how we're going to get through all of these tutorials. Let's dive straight into it. All right. In this module, we will learn number one, what is Bitcoin? And this tutorial is important because we're not just talking about Bitcoin. We'll get a bird's eye view of this whole crypto space in general. We'll see the three different layers, the technology layer, the protocol layer, the token layer, we understand what uh, different protocols exist, why Bitcoin is a protocol, and we'll understand the difference between coins and tokens and things like that. So a lot of um, foundational things that will put the right, give us the right start for the rest of not just this section, but for the rest of the whole course. Next, we'll talk about Bitcoin's monetary policy, um, just like with central banks of governments, which have monetary policies. Bitcoin has its own monetary policy, which is um, different in the way that it's governed entirely by the software. So that's going to be an interesting tutorial. Then we'll talk about mining difficulty and we'll um, solidify the things that we learned in module one and take them to the next level and really see how Bitcoin through software. So this, this, these two tutorials are linked, how, bit, how the software actually uh, is created in the way that it facilitates that monetary policy. So very interesting. It's going to be a difficult tutorial. I, I'll warn you in advance, but it's an important tutorial to really put all those things we talked about in module one and the things we started to talk about module two together to understand how it all links up. Then we'll talk about the, a virtual tour of Bitcoin mines. So we'll kind of take a break and just have a look at what it, what mines look like. So big industrial level Bitcoin mines, what they look like from the inside. It's going to be, I think it's going to be interesting to see how uh, what, what it's all about. So not just like see it in the computer, but see it in, in real life. What what is what is it? <laughs> what is it physically? Then we'll talk about mining pools, how miners get together and to form mining pools. Uh, and then we'll have an interesting tutorial on the nonce range. So we've um, already spoken about the nonce. And in this tutorial, some additional information will be uncovered about uh, the nonce and we'll see on one hand some interesting things on the other hand there'll be some challenges that this will pose and how we're we going to answer them how we're we going to tackle those how does the software tackle those so we'll get into even more technical detail about how uh, bitcoins and blockchains work I think it's also very important to be aware of these things understand them because a lot of the time people overlook them and then they run into problems or they just don't like they're not up to date with why certain things are happening in the technology. Uh, then we'll talk about how miners pick transactions. So transactions are a very important uh, component of uh, the blockchain or any blockchain because that's what it's all about to be able to transact with each other. So we'll see what how transactions are added to the blockchain and it'll be a two part tutorial. In the second part, we'll actually have a look at some uh, examples um, of uh, stats and uh, actual block live blockchain transactions online then we'll talk about hardware for bitcoin mining and not just bitcoin mining any cryptocurrency mining cpus gpus and asics and uh, some interesting things so if uh, if you're for example if you haven't heard of asics before this will be a very good tutorial to get into that to understand what this space is all about and uh, what's the difference between gpus and asics and how how it all plays out in different cryptocurrencies so here we'll cover off uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and see see a few a few others along the way too. Then we'll talk about mempools and how they work. It's a staging area for transactions before transactions get into the blockchain. Where do they reside, and how does that uh, how does information propagate around the network from mempools? Uh, then we'll talk about orphan blocks. What happens when there's two competing chains? Remember we mentioned orphan blocks in module one. Well, here uh, we'll understand what uh, happens to them in the sense of the transactions in them and we'll have a, uh, we'll see some examples of orphan blocks uh, online and then we'll talk about the 51 percent attack we'll completely demystify this concept because a lot of people don't um, have the right idea of what the 51 percent attack is so we'll discuss what it is not and what it is and you'll be absolutely clear from now on whenever you hear people talking about the dreaded and mysterious 51 percent attack you'll know exactly what they're talking about and why it's dangerous and 
Finally, at the end, we'll have an extra tutorial on how to convert bits to target. It's a more of a mathematical tutorial or uh, it's a good to know. You don't have to go through that one. That's just some extra stuff, especially if you're a developer in the space of blockchain, then you will probably benefit from that tutorial. Otherwise, you can uh, feel free to skip it or just use it for general knowledge. And there we go. That's our plan. We've got 12 tutorials plus one extra one uh, in this uh, module. It's a massive module, but it's going to be lots of fun. And after it, you will walk away so much more well versed in uh, blockchains and Bitcoin. You will truly take your skills together. We will take your blockchain skills and cryptocurrency skills to a whole new level. Super excited about this. Let's get started.